Hi everyone, today we're going to do a getting ready for a Christmas party. Well, your Christmas party. My Christmas party. So we thought, we've already done our bases, as you can see. We can't lie, we don't look like this really. We've got our bases on, we've got some concealer on, eyebrows. Eyebrows, we cannot leave the house without our no, eyebrows. No, I remember that. The other thing <laughs> that I cannot leave the house with, and I can't believe that I currently don't have it on, is... Are your lips? I, bit I need my tube. eyes. I can't believe I've got no mascara on. That's scaring me. And also my lips. I'm scaring myself. So that's what I want to start with. I need to start with my eyes. So I'm going to put on some eye primer with fingers. Very easy. I've never used an eye primer before. I like it. I just think it's quite a good way of sticking the colour yeah. as well. So what I do for my nude lip is I take my bitten lip tint and I put it on and I feel that I can get a better precision if I apply it to quite a dry lip and it really does suck Absorb. up the product. So I use this, making sure that I don't forget that it's inside the mouth too. And what I tend to do is go around the outside part of the lip so I go around the outside, making sure I don't forget the inside as well. And then the other little tip, around the bow of my lip here. Just oh, follow the tips, this one. Follow well, the I tips. I learned from the best in this right? <laughs> I feel like I learned from you. What I do on the bow is once I've got a nice shape, I then draw a straight line across it as well, which just gives an even fuller fuller lip. So that's how I create my perfect nude lip. I've used the Tweed palette mm. and I've mixed actually the kind of rossy colour and the lighter peachy tone together and then add a little bit of the plum and then I've used the Bordeaux pencil just along the lash line there. Looks so nice. And I'm going to smudge that out with the plummy shade. Because I think I'm going to go quite va va voom tonight. I'm going to put on quite a smoky eye and then maybe even, yeah, a lip. But I'm not sure yet. We'll see. Nice. It's a work in progress. It's nice. So what are you going to do for your eyes? Okay. So for my eyes, I'm going to keep it quite simple and I'm just going to do quite a signature smoky eye. I want to watch you do your makeup. I'm like half torn between finishing this and watching you. I, well, I tend to not actually use um, an eye primer. I tend to just use this light colour here, lightly. Mm -hmm. I actually, the tip that you taught me when I was doing your makeup, what I used to do is that apparently it's really unhygienic. Well, that's you okay on it. your own brushes, but you were doing it on my eyes. Yeah, you didn't want to do <laughs> for some reason. So I tend to use the light colours as a bit of a base for yeah, the whole of my Which is a really good idea. And then I take this lighter colour, uh, dark, yeah, this sort of really nice chocolatey colour here. And I always dab off the excess so I don't end up with too much mm -hmm. on my brush. And I like to put it in the inner part of my eye here, mm -hmm. but really keeping it darker on the outside part. Nice technique. Yeah. I like the old, um, you know, windscreen wiper <laughs> approach. Well, I'm normally like doing that. it. I never have that much time to get ready because I'm always in a rush for something. Normally, either rushing to work or rushing to pick the kids oh, up. God, so uh, there's never enough time for anything. Don't, what, why is that? There used to be time for things. It's like everything's speeded up now. I know. So that's why I do the windscreen wiper. Quite like that. No, it's a good. It's a good way to Winter. do it. And then, then what I do is I take the same colour and I actually dust it along my lash line. So really, the only mm. part of the eye I'm avoiding is this centre part here because I really want to open yep. my eyes. Keep them light. Out, keep them quite light. And then I'll take the same colour again. And I like to use the flat part of the brush for what I'm going to do next, which is the underneath. And I like to do it quite light and then build it up because I like quite a smoky but soft under eye, nothing too hard. What are you doing at the minute? I'm just going to blend this underneath as well. 
I've put on the Bordeaux and um, nice. adding, it's quite colourful, but I think um, when the mascara is on and everything, I think it's going to work quite well. It and really makes your eyes look really green. green. I know, it really does. I'm bringing that plummy shade as well. And I'm going to do a bit like what you did. I'm going to work that kind of into this outer edge. So I start to get a little bit more of a plum mm. vibe at the, the end like there. That. Yeah, I think that's nice. I then like to take this darker colour, but I like to use um, a thinner brush because I take this dark colour here and like to dust it along the lash line. And then I tend to do a little tiny upward flick. I used to, you know where I made the mistake before, is I used to build my eyes outwards. And then I realized it's so much more useful to actually just lift them up mm. sooner, yeah, yeah. you know, rather yeah. than bring them out too much. Yeah, and it, I think it's, um, I don't know, it's kind of easier as well, because you just follow the guideline of your lower lash line and flick up. Flick it up. I might go in with the um, a bit of glitter now, actually. You're going full on. I'm going full on. Well, it's, it's a Christmas party, so. You know it's a Christmas party and we're not going on stage, right? <laughs> I mean, oh, sparkles. Oh, can't we? You know the other thing that I also think is quite a good tip, which is why I love this dark colour and, and why I also love a really skinny brush, is because it's equally as important, I think, mm -hmm. to do a very, very fine line across the underneath of lashes as well. Just a really fine line, which Just I think thicken is... the lower lash, yeah. And then you've got the diffusion going right. from the the sort of more definition, and it phases out. It thickens it and just makes the eyes look fresh and awake. And I think it's always important as well to not forget about the inner part of the eye. And I think this line needs to be really subtle. Yeah, that's as opposed nice. To the that looks upper. really nice. Yeah, I love it. I can see you've done the same thing with the Bordeaux. Yep, I've done the same thing. I've gone really through those lower lashes. I'm going to start putting some mascara on those lower lashes now so that I can judge really what I need to do next for my eye makeup. Mm. Because if I feel like if I don't get my mascara on at this stage underneath, I can't really judge anything. I can't really tell what's going on. The other thing that I think is really important um, when applying an eye makeup is also the fact that you can you can either use a brush or you can use your hands. Mm. Because sometimes I will create the underneath part of my eye literally using my fingers if yeah, I want a really, really lived in and smudgy, a very French chic yeah, kind of I like that effortless. I love a French chic effortless. Smoky oh, it always eye. looks good. And then the other colour that I really like is this light pink colour here. Because I use a the little peachy, bit of this, yeah. the peachy colour, and I just put it literally on the centre part of my eye here. Because I think if you keep this centre part here quite light, but then you define here, it really opens up mm -hmm. the eye. It does. The problem with makeup is you've got to really know when to stop. Oh, yeah. This is fun though because we can, because it's a party and it's Christmas and it's night time, we can really have a little experimentation, she says, putting too much glitter on her eyelids. You can <laughs> never wear too much glitter, especially at Christmas time. No, it's true. I like to call it turning the Christmas lights on. <laughs> I think that's what you're doing. I think you're I think turning... that's what I've done, yeah. I'm, I'm feeling very festive. Yeah. And um, which is your favourite um, mascara and also um, eyelash curler? Well, curler, it's funny you should say that, because I've always used the sheer mirror ones, as you guys know, I love them. But now you can hardly get them anywhere. I mean, they're, they're, it's not available in the UK and it's hard to get them. So I am trying the, oh, I need to get used to these ones, the Surratt ones. Oh, I love that feeling, curling the eyelashes. <sighs> so satisfying. So satisfying. Voila, see that? See the difference? <laughs> She's awake. Right, I'm gonna put plenty of mascara on. I'll finish my eyes once my mascara's on, really. Cause, and really? Yeah, I don't like shape-wise of the eye. I think your eye shape changes so much when you've got your mascara on, particularly on the outer edges. Mm. So I like to see that and then be guided almost by that, how I'm gonna end the eyes. Mm. 
So I like to kind of do it in that that way and sort of in stages really, I'm funny with makeup on, on myself anyway. I like to kind of do a bit, then I might move on to lashes, then mm -hmm. I might do cheek contour, and then go back to the eyes. So actually now that they've settled in and I've seen the way the blush looks, or maybe once the eyes are on, sorry, the lips are mm -hmm. on, and then I'll be like, oh, actually I want to blend those out or I want to add mm -hmm. some more or, it's like, um, I don't know, it's like composing a picture, I guess. Mm. You know, you paint the clouds and you paint the the sea and then you're like, oh, actually, they can be bluer now or something. I mean, that sounds I know really what you mean. No, do you no, mean? No. You're seeing the whole picture. I know what you mean because I can't even look at myself without my lip liner on. Yeah, until you've seen that, exactly, you've got to get your... Um, it's giving you your perspective to see the whole picture. But your eyes look beautiful. That colour looks so nice yeah, on Yeah, it's really nice, isn't it? Thank you. It's I'm really not saying I'm, my eyes are good. I'm saying this colour does look... Mm. I can see that my eyes look much greener yeah, than normal. They look really lovely. And it sort of doesn't feel, um, although I'm obviously going quite, putting plenty of makeup on, it doesn't feel like crazy makeup. Too heavy, like, yeah. Although I've got a lot of glitter yeah. on, it still looks good. You know it's Christmas time. I know, I know. Now what have you bought your husband for Christmas? Well I haven't got him anything yet, but he sent me um, information oh. via people here of what he wants, so. What, what does he want? Well, um, he used to collect 50s China, like 1950s okay. China. Well, he collects a lot of stuff. But I thought we had enough, quite frankly. And I say no more knickknacks. That's what I say, and that's my motto. We've got enough. That's a nice way of saying you've got enough in the house. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> but we had a dinner party recently, mm -hmm. and um, he got out some of his really beautiful pieces. And I could see he was getting all back into it. Now, I thought we had enough because the whole table was like mixing it in with like modern stuff mm -hmm. and then some really beautiful plates and like mm. serving dishes and things. And then afterwards, he's like, oh, you know, it made me really remember how much I love it. And I was like, well, you've got... And he said, no, no, I'd like to like complete some of those sets. And then he found a link to somebody that's selling like some pieces and someone else is selling some other pieces. So I think I've got to... Nice. Got that, which is a lovely present and it's beautiful stuff. What about you? Well, I think he might be happier than what I've got my husband. Well, what do you buy David Beckham? He has everything. Yeah. So, I bought him a puzzle. A jigsaw puzzle. A jigsaw puzzle with a picture of me. No joke. A picture <laughs> of the kids. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's a giant nice. picture of me. Yeah. <laughs> But it's a really complicated puzzle with like thousands and thousands. Oh, that's a brilliant of... present. It's I actually... love doing jigsaws. Like you forget how good they are until mm. you start them, and then you get so sucked in. And he loves those things. You know, yeah. he loves Lego. Um, he also, you know, so I think a jigsaw puzzle. Yeah, is the I next think thing that's a him. really nice present. It was actually a friend of mine, Kim who suggested the jigsaw puzzle. It's the most unlikely So you send a photo like of your, you send a photo of the mm. children, yeah. Yeah. God, that's such a good idea. But you can get really complicated ones. So David's gonna be doing this probably until next Christmas. <laughs> that's huge. <laughs> That'll keep them busy. I got one for a few years ago. Robin got me, um, Stephen Mizell has never sold prints, but he sold this limited edition of his, one of his prints as a jigsaw puzzle. Wow. Yeah, it was amazing. It was signed and everything. And um, he got me for Christmas, God, about eight years ago. And I made it. It took me all of Christmas and New Year to make it. And then I'm like, well, I don't want to dismantle it. So we've had it framed and now it's on the wall. So, it's so but it's nice. nice. It's a really nice thing. That's so, so nice. Maybe when he's made it, he'll frame it. And I don't like it that much. But <laughs> <laughs> if it was a Stephen Mizell, you know. Yeah. I like those kind of presents. They're sort of like. Yeah, they're more thoughtful. Yeah, Absolutely. definitely. And he really does love his Lego, so I think that this will be... I think that's a great idea. I've got on some blush. I think it's because I've gone darker with my eyes. I feel like I've... I need to give myself a bit of life. Oh, I think I need a bit of life. I think I need a bit of blush as well. Oh, I'll put some on you now. Just going to blend my edges. It's funny you should say that about creases, because what I have started doing. No, but they didn't hear what we said about creases. What we said oh. about creases was that we were shiny around our nose. Oh. And I said, we've got to powder our creases. She didn't sound very nice, but we do have to powder our creases. So 
let me find a little brush and I'll powder your creases and you can powder them. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... But anyway, what we can say about well, creases... what I was going to say my creases. is what I've started doing, um, once I've done my base, is um, actually taking my cell rejuvenating primer mm -hmm. and actually over the top of my makeup oh just hydrate you know to hydrate and also bring nice back idea yeah the glow. To, yeah because i sometimes and mesh feel, all the makeup in together i sometimes feel that you can get quite powdery when you've got foundation and then you've got powder and then you've got highlighter and then you've got contour. So I then like to, you know, freshen yeah. it up. And I think also it's really good to put underneath the eyes as well because mm. it can get quite thick. Yeah, it can. So you've got a lot of um, concealer and things on. Nice for blending too. And then I'll normally just take a little bit of powder and just go down the T-zone yeah. with the powder yeah, as well. Yeah. Do you want a bit more highlighter? I'm about to you highlight myself. That. Yeah. You're already glowing, but let's just have... I've actually mixed together this Dior palette and a little bit of Fenty, which I think might be quite mm. a pleasurable mix. Because one's slightly pink and the other ones are quite bronzy. And I think that could be nice. It's a really nice colour when you combine those. Yeah, it's good, isn't it? Not too pink, not too bronze. I'm going to go quite highlighty. Look, she's going, <laughs> she's going all out. <laughs> she's going all out. I'm just wondering which mascara I should use, actually. What would you recommend that I use? I you normally go on just the it, lower lashes, yeah. I I'll get you one with a smaller, uh, maybe the DHC one. Okay. Because it's got a nice small, um, let me see if I've got one here. That one. Thank you. I normally like something with quite a precise, oh, that's so nice. Mm, it's nice and small. Because I like to really paint the individual lashes. Sorry about the noise, there's a tube that goes not far underneath my studio, so every now and again, of course, you hear the old tube going. I thought it was your tummy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm wondering what to do for my lip. What about a red lip? Yeah, could be good. Eyes and lips. Let me see. Let me just put the basic shape on. This is going to look terrible when it first goes on. Don't judge yet. Here's what you I'm going to do. I do love a red lip. I love the red lip that you did um, on me for the cover of Australian Vogue mm. that we shot. We did a very natural eye. Mm. Quite a shiny skin, as I remember. Um, yeah, you were very kind of, it's almost like quite a raw look, wasn't it? But with a red mm. lip. And you can do a nice soft, like a diffused edge. You don't have to do, I'm going to do quite a precise edge, but it's nice to do with red lips. Oh, she says talking and ruining it. If um, if you're not used to that kind of like full on red, you can take a small little buffing brush. I've got one here, um, and you can apply it to sort of almost like a blurry mm. red lip, and that gives you that extra pout without having to sort of draw a harsh line. Maybe with this one, I'll, I'll show you on the bottom. So I overdraw my lower lip anyway. So if I diffuse it. And make that edge really soft. See this now, hold on. Just feel like a corn, but you can see how soft that is mm. underneath. It just gives you that kind of shape. I also really like a red lip when you're dressed in quite a casual way. Like I love you with, with the great real sweat. red lip. Yeah. No, but re seriously though, with yeah, a more yeah. casual look, I think it looks I really think, Yeah, it's, it looks cool. the best with grey sweats, so I always say that. I'm just finishing off with a little something shiny in the inner corner. Oh, I might do that. I'm going to go with some of the blonde. Yeah, I started off with that and then I'm just going to buff in with actually a little bit of highlighter as well. I think I need a tiny bit of concealer in my inner corner of my eye. <sighs> Sorry, I'm going to put some... This one, just lift those corners. It's the end of the year, tired, dark in the inner corner. Oh. Do you have any more shopping to do, or are you done now? A few little bits and bobs. Yeah. I, I, I mean, I normally leave too much of it. 
to the last minute just because we've been so busy. So busy. But the kids are more or less sorted. That's great. David's got his puzzle. He's got his puzzle. How long do you think it'll take him to do it, realistically? Oh, he will stay up all night. I really and get it done. Yeah, when he does the Lego, he'll want to. Yeah, when he does <laughs> the Lego, he's literally there all night. <laughs> Honestly, it's no joke. That Harry it's Potter brilliant. Lego is really quite challenging. <laughs> I think I might have to stop because I'm just going and going and going. You look good. But I think with a grey sweat, and I'll just make my hair a little bit more towsily. But you're getting changed. What are you going to wear? I might put on a grey sweatshirt too. I wish we be like twins, the grey sweatshirt twins. But I'm going to put on a red heel. Oh, nice, yeah. you got the red lips, I have mm. the red heel. We both have Nice little sweats. accents, little accents of red. A little bit of a spicy accent. It looks really nice. I'm terrible at hair. I can't do my own hair. I can't do my own hair. I've been on set with the best make, the best makeup, the best hairdressers in the world for years, watching what they're doing, asking them to show me how to do it, give me a, you know, uh, send me tongs, send me product, whatever, cannot do it. I reckon that 99% of the time, I literally wash my hair, I hold my head upside down, I rough dry it, and then I literally get a hair bubble and I stick it in a bun on the top of my head. And that's how I go to work every single day, yeah. just because I just cannot do my own hair. See, look, I'm going to pick up more. We need to stop. I know, we need to stop. We need to I stop. think we look good. I think we're going casual anyway. Mm -hmm. And um, I like, I mean, I hope that was fun for you. It was certainly fun for us. And I just thought it'd be fun to film the process. And also it's quite nice when, I think when people are doing their own makeup, because I love it when makeup's not too technical. And certainly the way we've done makeup today, it's more about a feeling and like, oh, a bit of this, a bit of that, smudge that in, you know, and you with your fingers like underneath and blending, all of that stuff, I think personally makes really good makeup because I'm not necessarily into the really just technical style of makeup. It can look great in pictures, don't get me wrong, but I think for real women who are going out, we know our faces, we know what works. And um, I just think it's quite nice to see that process of us doing our own makeup and you did a, such a good job i'm trying to not but be you offended are, you are by really the fact good at makeup. you said not technical because i thought i was very technical with my application technical in a way but not to the point of you know then you put this on and then there's the cut crease mm -hmm. and then it's the thing and then you do that like it wasn't formulaic that's mm -hmm. what i mean sorry maybe i meant formulaic no i'm just you know, I, look i i agree i think that you know I think makeup should, it should be fun, it should be easy. It's great to have a professional makeup artist do your makeup, but I think that ultimately you've got to be able to do your own makeup and I think it's about making it really, really easy. Mm -hmm. That's why I was excited when you invited me to come along and do this. You know, I want to share with my community how I do my makeup. You know, I'm a mother of four, I don't have that much time. Here's what I do. Yeah. Um, and it's really, it's really, really simple. And it's, you're right, it's about knowing okay. what you have and what your best assets are and, yeah. and what suits you ultimately as mm -hmm. well. And there's nothing better than getting ready with friends, having that yeah. chit chat as well. Anyway, hope that was fun. Bye.